Yeah, it's a good month uh, or so. September is, is heavy strength and conditioning, uh, heavy individual work. It gives us good time to spend one-on-one -on -one time with the players and attack what we assess their individual needs uh, for the new guys, uh, just getting them adjusted to life in our program, life at, at University of Arizona. And then we started fall practice last Friday and we're into our 45-day window uh, at our first inner squads last weekend and uh, off to a good start. A uh, lot to feel good about in terms of uh, players with successful experience uh, within the program. Um, you know, and hopefully some new players that will mesh with them well and ability and chemistry and those types of things to get us off to a good start. How soon can you see the progress from the offseason with a lot of guys? Uh, some it's very noticeable. You know, I take a, a player like Tyler McGill, for instance, and, and the priority he put on his body and his, you know, strength and conditioning uh, to be able to be as healthy as he can be. I mean, he looks like a completely different human being, just, you know, one picture side by side. Um, others, in, we haven't done enough in terms of, you know, scrimmage competition yet to really see it come to life, but a lot of the, the strength and maturity of the older players, um, you know, can be really noticeable. Did anyone jump out at you in, the, in those first scrimmages? Anyone surprise you with their uh, performances? Yeah, I think uh, what we do is we take things, uh, you know, step by step um, in terms of our development. And so the first couple were really built around what we have implemented as a team. And it was good to see those things done at a high level. Um, shows good aptitude for learning from our players. I believe, um, you know, the guys that, you know, you're all familiar with look like the guys that, you know, we've known them to be in terms of, you know, Alfonso, Rivas, um, you know, Cal Stevenson. I mean, they went like a combined 11 for 12 on the weekend or something like that, which was great to see. Um, I think, um, you know, having most of our team uh, healthy it allows us to do a lot of different things try some guys in different positions and, and those sorts of things so really the focus right now is not necessarily on um, you know a particular player or roles or any of that but it's, it's learning our process of building the right player and the right team and, and we kind of keep it there for now having had a couple months now since a few months since the end of last season how do you view um, the type of year that you guys had last year? Well, it was a great year. I mean, um, you know, to win uh, 38 games, you know, to have a you know good standing in the Pac-12, to be the only team in the Pac-12 in the NCAA tournament each of the last 12, or excuse me, at least the past two years, is a great accomplishment. And, uh, you know, it's something we take a lot of pride in because of uh, the strength of our conference, the number of good programs. Um, you know, I mean, you could argue, you know, 2017 was a better regular season than 2016. The only difference was uh, obviously the postseason success was, was different, and that's going to happen, you know. I mean, you go to a regional where there's, you know, two College World Series teams uh, from the year before in terms of us and, and Texas Tech, and that's a challenge, and, uh, you know, faced a, a really good team playing hot at the right time. And, uh, you know, you can't guarantee success in those. So we just go right back to preparing and developing. But there's nothing but uh, positives in my mind about 2017.